A Hobart woman convicted of killing her long-time partner says she's shocked and disgusted by the verdict. Susan Neal Fraser is back in the Supreme Court for sentencing submissions. They're Susan Neal Fraser's biggest supporters. Three days after the 56-year-old grandmother was found guilty of murder, her daughters were back in court to hear sentencing submissions. Outside court, they spoke of their mother's reaction to the verdict. Shock, disbelief, disgust, but also determination. I think that we're quite ready to sort of fight this one. On Friday night, after more than 18 hours of deliberations, a Supreme Court jury found Neil Fraser guilty of murdering her partner, Bob Chappell. The unanimous verdict followed a three-and-a-half-week trial, which heard suggestions, greed and escalating tensions over the couple's yacht drove Neil Fraser to murder. Police believe she hit Mr Chapel with a wrench and dumped his body in the River Derwent. Today, the Director of Public Prosecutions told the court Neil Fraser's refusal to assist police find her partner's body made the crime worse. He said Neil Fraser has shown no remorse. She has not accepted responsibility. Defence lawyer David Gunson argued Neil Fraser maintains her innocence. He said she has no criminal record and until this time in her life has led an otherwise blight-free life. Mr Chappell's son and daughter didn't provide victim impact statements to the court because of a desire for privacy. Outside court, Neil Fraser's daughters said Mr Chappell's death had been distressing for them. We grew up with him as a father figure and, you know, for me I took a lot of my life advice and support and what's led me to my career now from Bob and so it's very painful. She said her mother was coping well in prison. She's got a lot of support from inside so you know yeah that's really good it's comforting. Neil Fraser looked at her daughters and shook her head many times during today's court appearance. She'll find out her sentence on Wednesday next week. Tamara Glumack, ABC News.